<laughs> oh, we've all seen this. We yeah. all, yeah. What's that? It's a flying ostrich. <laughs> this is like a dude who wanted to like spy on his neighbor, but it was like, he's gonna know if it's a drone. <laughs> Make it an ostrich. <laughs> and then it'll just be like, oh, it's an ostrich. I better get naked in front of it. <laughs> Our guest today, a stand up comedian, hosts his own podcast, Nate Land. His Netflix special, The Greatest Average American, is out now. Welcome, Nate Bargetti. Hey. Nice Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Big Nate, fan. Welcome to the stage, man. Yeah, big fan. I'm a big fan of the show. My, uh, and uh, my good buddy, my tour manager, his son Hudson. I want to say hi to him. He's an enormous fan. So, oh, yeah, I love Hudson. what you guys. Hudson. 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 Okay, Nate, you ever, you ever be doing a show and you just got somebody's funny bone? And it's like everyone's laughing, but they're laughing like extra hard where they're just like, ah, ah. You ever get caught with one of those? Yeah, no, Invite yeah, yeah. Invite me to a show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I, is, trust me, this is what we want. Yeah, uh, I mean. But like a girl laughed in my first starter, and her laugh was she would just go, ah. She'd make a solid noise. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, and like, they kept doing it, and we had to go, like, kick them out and say, like, you can't laugh anymore. And that's a lot to hear as a family. Yeah. And then yeah. they got like real mad, and her dad was like, "That's how she laughs." She's like, "No, dude, no one laughs like that." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I, I can't control this one. I, but you got know, rhythm to it. If you just yelped it, he's saying like, if you did that same laugh, but it was like, hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it would be, yo, dude. Like, yeah. if someone's got to go back there and like, you know, yeah. we had to get eyes on her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's on basically her. just yelling at you. But you had her funny bone. Even though it was yeah. like a monotone horn screaming back at yeah. you, <laughs> you got it. Dude, that was crushing, you know? dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And look, this, this category right here is just filled with people that are going to laugh themselves dead. Take a look at the guy laughing. <laughs> On the new season of The Connors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> look, I don't even know what The Connors are. It's caught me my peripheral vision, <laughs> and I knew exactly what it was. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh boy. Do you work Pandemic. here on vacation? I'll black out. I'll black out. Oh! oh. oh. Tecate. I mean, the sun's still out. Yeah, man, yeah. that's the best way to be blacked out. You know what I mean? You can be guided I mean, the around. The older you get, the earlier you gotta start drinking. Like, yeah. you, you, you wrap your head around like 4 p.m., you're like, all right, dude, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you, Tecate? I was a thinking witch, my G. Filthy. Filthy. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Look, he says, I'm stinking rich, and he meant to say, filthy rich. Piecing it together, it looks intellectual, it looks fun. Just got two pair of glasses, like, <laughs> it looks intellectual. <laughs> oh, boy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me in a pandemic? <laughs> Two down and one in the bush. Yeah. That's real deal partying. We'll be right back with more ridiculous things. <laughs> Our guest today, a stand-up comic, got like five Netflix specials. Her very own show on Netflix. She's got like books and cooking shows and everything. Welcome back to the show, Eliza Schlesinger. Oh, it's me. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And she's an actress. We left that and out. Oh, yeah. Actress. And, Thank you. Man, and she's Too an actress. Too many hyphenates, it sounds like you're yeah. lying. Man, no, no, no. I mean, it sounds look. like you're a boss. And a dancer. Just it. Sorry to hear about Blanche. That's okay. okay. You know, obviously, Blanche was a guest on the show. <laughs> Uh, a great guest, you great know, guest. and, great and so now you have a new dog. You do. What is your new dog's name? My new dog's name is Tian Fu. She is yeah. from China. She is a rescue. Her, she came with the Chinese name. I kept it. <laughs> but, but, but. I love just making sure you're not appropriating it all. Be like, she yeah. come from China. Oh, it's, yeah. it's more. It's more like I wouldn't be as insane as to give her a two-part name. Yeah. <laughs> she came with the name, and I was like, she probably doesn't know much, but she probably knows her name. And I love making other people say it. Yeah. Because we're all so afraid of looking racist. So I'm like, yeah. it's Tianfu. And people are like, oh, Tianfu, where does the accent go? Like, there's, <laughs> white people are so excited. <laughs> Anyways, her name is Tianfu. And so just for clarity here, how do you rescue an animal from China? You are making candy for a uh, Christmas party, and you run out of sugar. So you go to your local store, and there's a Chinese woman in the parking lot with an SUV filled with dogs. And she's like, do you want a dog? And you start crying because you miss your dead dog so much. 
you pay her $300 cash because you have it like that. And then you just walk out and you call your husband and say, we have a, a Chinese baby dog. <laughs> You're going to meet her later. Wow. That was amazing. Wow. And how is the sweet puppy now? I'm devoted Thriving. and committed to you? Committed to me in an unhealthy way, but she's a sweet baby girl. And, um, and I don't think she speaks Chinese or English. She's not smart, but she's pretty. That's it. So let yeah. that be a lesson to women everywhere. Okay. <laughs> okay, look, the category dedicated to dogs that love their owners. Take a look at devoted dogs. Can I have a kiss, Pinch? Oh. Oh, come here. Oh, no. Yes! No. Right. Yes! Maybe put a ring on it first. <laughs> Yeah, the dude's like, was it my tank top? Yeah. <laughs> no, it 100% was his tank top. <laughs> Is my muscles in my tank top? <laughs> yeah, you're not getting in there. No. Uh-oh. Been a long night. OK. All right. OK. Oh. Oh. No. Well, she set him up, though. Well, she did set him up. She didn't want him up. to come in the house. She knows that he hates Dalmatians. She opened the door when his hair went down. Just, like, really <laughs> with him. You can't control the dog? You can't control the dog. We got cameras all over the neighborhood. He's yeah. gonna run circles around the house. <laughs> the dog must have murdered him for them to pull this many cameras. Booty patrol. Oh my oh. goodness. Don't you touch, don't, no. Booty patrol. That is her booty, not your booty. You stand down. Don't you, don't, don't dog's you. Dog's a feminist. Yeah, the dog's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> together, together, yeah. all of us. All for one. Or me and That's, you. That dog hand is yeah. like in a horror movie when it's just like, yeah. <laughs> like it came yeah. from the grape. Man, his hand appears out of nowhere. Let me go on with Judge Bradley, okay? Let me get here. No. No. She's like, joke's on you, it's the dog's baby. <laughs> <laughs> protected by the baby, huh? Already. Aww. That's cute. Can I touch her? A uh, nope. She's very protected. We'll be right back with more Ridiculousness. Our guest today, a legendary stand-up, has his very own show on Netflix, Mr. Iglesias, and you can find him in the new Space Jam with LeBron James. Welcome, Gabriel Iglesias. Yeah. I understand you went through a pretty serious crossroads when you were young. Uh-oh. Uh, you were going to choose professional wrestling ah. or comedy. But you chose comedy. <laughs> what happened, man? I realize that I hate pain. I don't. I can't hang. Okay. I can't hang. You get me in a freaking full Nelson, or, or you, like just getting on. Get off me! I can't deal. <laughs> but hey, and then like, but you've always been a super wrestling huge fan. huge fan of wrestling. Because we had we had a um, Chris Jericho on here. Okay, I'm, I know Jericho. That you like went on his like rock and boat tour or something, or you were part of that. How was that? It was awesome. They had wrestling in the middle of the boat. Uh, <laughs> I got to uh, have a cabin next to Ric Flair, and I was just like. Oh. And I was that asshole. Woo! He's like, yeah. Yeah. really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, look, this category is filled with really bad wrestling, and each one of these people should have picked comedy. Take a look. <laughs> Give me freedom. Oh, Send me no. high. Oh, God. Let's go. It's feeling sketchy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. All right. You got to blame green oh, shorts. Man. They're playing Sky, they're playing Sky Twister. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He Lost his footing and put you down on your but back. But he also was helping way too much. Like, get your feet together. As he goes up, he's just like, they put my leg over here. Oh, OK. Oh. Oh. We got to hurry up and get them out of here, man. Church starts in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh-oh. OK. Oh, 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 he hurt. Oh, uh -oh. oh he hurt. Somebody. Somebody. He's wrestling um, the ring. He's, re he's literally he's wrestling the ring. Getting, rest <laughs> getting beaten by the ring. <laughs> like, uh, can we help like, dude, him? pull it out. Man, you can't stop me. <laughs> Jack Black looking for Flair. Jack oh, Black. let's go. Yeah. Jack Black looking for oh, oh, Flair. OK, OK. Man. <laughs> oh! First of all, this is the middle of New York. I ain't never seen Russell with a do-rag on. <laughs> <laughs> His cape didn't get far enough. Man, he's like, oh. Oh, oh, oh. What's your wrestling name? Head ass. At least he hit the mat. No, At man. At least he hit the mat. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that was the ender. Oh. <laughs> this starts out man, so I, aggressive. Man, oh. let's just go back. Like, oh, he wanted it to break. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, my God. I'm that's a strong ass two by four yeah. you got. <laughs> the spine crusher. Good ass chiropractor visit right there. <laughs> yeah.
Our guest today is a stand-up comic with multiple Netflix specials and now an author with his book, Mixed Plate. Give it up for Joe Coy. Yeah! Man, he's feeling good today. I, a little I runny, so. but he's feeling good. I got this. Is that cool? Yeah, hey, look, okay. as long as it's allergies, <laughs> we're good. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I understand you guys have went on a trip together? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Apple from Black Eyed Peas. Okay. He had this trip that was for like all Filipino people to take them to the Philippines for Filipino influencers. If you're wondering how I got in this mix, it's because I have a song with Apple. But he made up like a really funny. I didn't make. It, okay. <laughs> yeah, what she keeps saying I wrote a bit. I didn't. It I was, just, was a bit. I was making fun of you. <laughs> yeah, they're called Chanel West Coast Complaintments. Yeah. Oh, man. They're compliment complaints together. <laughs> because the whole time, like Filipinos were like, oh my God, Chanel, try this. And she's, and she's like, oh, Oh my god, that looks delicious. Um, I'm allergic. Yeah. <laughs> the pillows are so fluffy. My face broke out though. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to 500 episodes of yeah. television. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I understand your mom thought you wanted to be a clown. <laughs> yeah. Is there truth to that? No, not an actual clown. No, uh, she were like, I'm gonna tell jokes. She's like, that's yeah. what clowns do. Yeah, that's what clowns do. <laughs> is that, is you, want really? to, you want to juggle like that? Like, and she this... hated the fact that I was gonna be a comic. She didn't understand it. Now, was this like early on? Like, when did oh, you yeah. know, it's like, like hey, I, this is what I'm doing? I, I was on Chelsea, right? And she still didn't think like that was anything. She was like, oh, okay, nice. <laughs> Do you have benefits? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Are uh, you gonna pay? Are you yeah. gonna pay your um, hospital uh, bills with jokes? <laughs> <laughs> no. You're going to tell jokes to the doctor. <laughs> Look, even even to this day, yeah. my mom still can't fully. It wasn't even that long ago <laughs> she asked if I had enough money saved to go to college. That, that's so true. Yeah. Cause she she asked me. She's like, you know, college is still there. I'm like, mom, I can buy a college. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to buy a college? I'll buy it, okay. and then I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well look, this ain't about college. This ain't about moms. This is about clowns that are. Take a look at Clowns Aren't Funny. Oh, oh that's what you do. Man. That's what you do to people that do that to you. You know how bad you gotta be to put a mat under your refrigerator? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, you to be like, you getting get cold over here. <laughs> you hey, <laughs> Don't go inside that fridge with dirty feet, you son of a bitch. Like, what? Oh, my God. Oh, it's a oh. special clown. Mega you clown. You got pee, man. It's a Coachella man. clown. Coachella clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, why not just put your junk in it? Yeah. Man. Like, you don't need to go in there. Yeah, no, you well, don't have to go You can pee from up top. Yeah. They owe you this. <laughs> they need to make one for you <laughs> if you're part of the show. If he had the poop, that's a whole different story. <laughs> I guess it's not stealing. He is yeah. the owner, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look, look at this guy <laughs> scarred. He almost went to cover his yeah. eyes. Don't let it look. Don't see this. Why well, pop your junk like that in front of his family? <laughs> Right to your other you side. Tap her. Right to your side. Oh, oh man. Oh. You know what these two are saying? Should we eat him? <laughs> <laughs> Should we eat him and record the audio? <laughs> <laughs> record the audio. It's record the audio. Get perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, no need to get any video footage. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just listen the to the feast. Just <laughs> listen yeah. to it. We're eating murder. <laughs> but nobody knows. Our guest today, actor, producer, writer, host of the podcast Ever After, the legendary Jaleel White. Hey. Yeah. Hey. This guy. Yeah. Nice. My guy. Hey, 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 hey. I, I found it funny that, that he was telling me that, that you were one of the very first people he met when he moved here, and you guys used to roll, roll I hard. Said I, yeah, I used to pull up at his crib. He had the, the popping crib, boy. Oh, man. You know, some things took place at that crib, man. Man. You know what I'm saying? Stilo might have, you know, he might have lost his virginity. He might have come oh, to his manhood. Right there. He oh, might have come, come into I, his I, manhood. You I know love what I'm the idea that, that Sterling showed up in LA a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when, when you did that show with your mom, like there was, like, you did something with bees. Do you hate bees or do you, does your mom hate bees? 
All black people hate bees, dog. That was oh, the whole yeah. point of that one. Yeah, <laughs> that was yeah. A, well, yeah, we put on the whole suit and everything. We went harvested honey in, uh, in, in beekeeper outfits. Mm. Uh, so. Uh, okay, yeah. so you didn't have to get like like fully exposed. You weren't like. I mean, they right there. They all on you. Did you know, you get so stung? Psychologically, no, 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 I ain't, come on, I ain't get stung. But it was yeah. just like psychologically, you got to stick your hand in there. You got to find the queen. You know, it was a whole thing. I'm a bucket lister. I'm a big okay. bucket lister. So I have a huge list of things that I want to do. And when they gave me the options, I was like. Let's go get some honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, look, it was a, a, an enjoyable bucket experience, I'm sure. I don't know if, if it'll be on a, a, any of our bucket list. You know no. what I mean? It just, it just gave me the gitchies. Like, I as he was saying that, I was over here doing this. Like, yeah. I have yeah. bad luck. I get stung all the time. It's yeah, weird. it's painful. Yeah. It's painful stuff. <laughs> this category dedicated to the dangers of bees. Beware. <laughs> don't let it. Okay. Oh, 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 damn. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. He forgot how to run instantly. Look at that first ankle. Oh. Like, he almost lost that first ankle. Right? Hey! Zoom. Grab your shoe, grab your shoe! Zoom. Oh boy. Look, he's <laughs> one of the chests, one of the head. Get the stick, save the stick, Daryl! <laughs> oh, 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 wow. He might die out of nowhere. Man, man. He's just getting beat up it's by those bird, bees. It's a birdhouse. <laughs> okay, this seems like a good idea. He's not prepared. Feels good. Yeah, yeah, I put it in a bag. Got a vibe. You know what I'm saying? So check out. Got it. Got it. Oh, oh, it's working. Okay. No, oh, okay. Oh, 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 it's not. Oh, <laughs> it's just, they never saw him again. Man, but it's like, why can why can you use the bag with most of them in it to try to get one or two of them what? off of you? And he came with open toe sandals, mother. That's what I say. He was not prepared from the gate, dog. <laughs> Oh, she Ooh. broke down, Ooh. piece by piece. Them, <laughs> them bees was hitting at all kinds of spots. Look at, oh, watch her collapse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> stay on your feet, baby. Just whatever you do, stay on your feet. That's it. It's, it's a simple life rule. Just stay on your feet. There you have it for Beware. Our guest today, a comedian, a beatboxer, a musician, and band leader of The Late Late Show with James Corden. Welcome, Reggie Watts. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. It's an honor. Reggie, how you doing, man? <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thanks, man. I'm stoked. Tell me about life as a beatboxer, man. When did you first, when did you first discover that you could do it? I think it was fat, the Fat Boys came on the scene okay. back in the, uh, you know, I'm kind of an 80s kid, so like they came on. Then uh, Michael Winslow from uh, yeah, yeah. Police Academy. Yeah. He was kind of like a superhero yeah. wizard that could yeah. do all this crazy stuff. And then I just was into like mimicking sounds providing rhythms and making my own uh, songs with just my voice. Look, my two-year-old started beatboxing, Yeah. right? And I was like, this is amazing. I feel like the parent that tries to force their child into sports when they don't want to play sports, where I yeah. kept trying to force him, like, beatbox, 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 hit the beat, hit the beat. And he was like, no, no, enough. Like, and it just ended, you know what I mean? OK, tell us about the WhatsApp. All right, so WhatsApp, we uh, designed it like uh, 16 years ago with a new fusion technology using a biomolecular interface. No. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's this app I made. Uh, I wanted to always have an app so I had my own place to put my videos and stuff and sell stuff like my own private Craigslist. I have a store on there. I sell all my old uh, badass gear. Yeah, that's, I, I mean, I love the idea of my own personal Craigslist. Yeah. You yeah, know what man. I put on there? But, my crystals. Of yeah, course. Oh, okay. Some of my power crystals, crystals and yeah. I suck the energy yeah, out of them yeah. that I'm ready to pass on to somebody else. You know? <laughs> yeah. And tell me about, like, you also have, like, an interview show on there? Oh, yeah, called Droneversations. Yeah. How yeah. does it work? Well, I've always wanted to do an interview show where it's, it's shot all by drones, as many drones as possible. Mm -hmm. And that the drones are so loud you can barely hear the conversation. <laughs> so, That's so, hilarious. So, so, like, so the it's first, just, it's just like, <laughs> But it's just so stupid because the drones are, they're just so loud. Yeah. There's so many of them yeah. and they, they come into the shot and it, it's just so much. My next one I'm gonna do Jack Black and we're gonna go for probably eight drones. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Will you take a drone taxi one day? Of course, are you kidding? Yeah, I mean yeah. after like maybe 500 flights. Yeah, look, I can't wait till I f step out of this yeah. Building and yes. get droned home. Oh, yeah. man. You know what I mean? ET drone home. Yeah. <laughs> ET drone home. Okay, <laughs> drones getting a little loose in this category we call the drone zone. Yeah. 
There it is. Oh, man, one of the iPhone's drones. Save it. Again. Save it. Save it, Derry. Oh. oh! Man, look, oh, he man. even tried to like, he tried to throw it back. Yeah. That would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. Look, he that did. He was amazing. like, save it. Save it. Oh, he did try it. Yeah. He tried. Yeah. He's he tried. got the spirit, man. <laughs> He's got the spirit. You know, protect your drone. OK. Feels like a spy drone. Oh, no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Man. But I feel like this is what birds should be doing. I feel like the bird just lands on it and got sent down to the ground. Like, thank you for the ride. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, drone footy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he tried to duck it. Oh. oh, it's that backpack you didn't need. He, he saw that though. He does. Oh, not our drone, bro. My mom's like, that's my drone. High speed drone in a neon greenhouse. This doesn't yeah. look good. House Mountain Dew. Oh, that Man. was a missile. Wow. That was supposed I to kill like that, somebody. Yeah, that was sent there to catch someone. For the sure. Yeah. And that's like not some regulation glass either. Man, that, look. It's like, well, we completed our tests and it looks like the lethal zone <laughs> for the drone works. Oh, no. Is he going to oh, shoot no. it with an oh, arrow? Oh. Oh. No way. Man, I feel like if you can hit a drone from your vacation spot <laughs> it's just that easily, that drone's spying on you. Oh my gosh. All right, there you have it with the drone zone. Okay. Our guest today is a comedian, internet personality, and one of the world's most famous viners. Give it up for Brittany Furlong. Brittany, tell us who this sweet little dog is. This is Nina the Wiener. Man, <laughs> Nina the Wiener. Yeah, Nina the Wiener. Man, it's like... Because she's a wiener dog, do you get it? I, I look. Is it obvious? <laughs> Not only do I get it, but I see it and I want one. I know. You know. I mean, look at, like, when I picture a lap dog, it's always like a Pomeranian. Right. And since I own one, they're, like, annoying. <laughs> right? It, Chanel knows. Yeah. You put it on the lap, it's still going to be, like, trying to bite Chanel. Oh, sh yeah, no, he likes to sit on you, but don't touch him. Oh, damn. <laughs> All but right. look at Nina. Like, she's, the yeah, moment she's I touched her, it so was like sweet. soft and sweet. Looks like a little golden retriever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, re she's regal. Yeah, man. So cute. <gasps> she's, like, she's like the only girl that has chest hair that's still hot. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's kind of crazy. That's yeah. a very, very good way to describe it. Right? All right, yeah. look, um, you are one of the most famous viners the world has ever known. Wow, um, yeah. It, it's a fact. It's Tom, a fact. Go, going down in life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, did you just love the idea of just having to create everything in that six seconds? Yeah, you know what? It was like, it was kind of funny because I was like just so bored at that time in my life and wasn't sure what I was going to do next. And then the app came out and it was like, make funny videos. And like, it wasn't even make funny videos. It was just like, make whatever you want. And I was like, oh, this is great. And so I just started doing like, I would pump like one out after another, you know, cause it was like six seconds. And I kept like doing dumb stuff yeah. thinking, and I was following 20 people and like no one was following me. It was like, I mean, my dad was following me. He's like, <laughs> these are great, honey, keep it up. You know, but, but I get a real job also. Yeah, so, and then it just, and then out of nowhere, like all these people just started following me. Yeah, it was kind of yeah. crazy. And then it just blew up and I was doing like the dumbest shit. Like, I was yeah. just having fun, you know? Yeah, and, and look, yeah. I mean, that that's the beauty of what it was. And ultimately, we decided to dedicate this first category to six-second videos. Take a look <laughs> at six <laughs> seconds of heaven. Here you go. Come on over. Come on over. Oh, that's burnt. Oh, that's burnt. Oh, that's good. That. That's Buy good. that man some shoes, even though this does actually look like an animal. And I love it. Was cautious to come over. He was like, "Come on, come on." No. Hey, you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Hey, I'm hey. always getting cracking. Hey, oh, let it burn. Oh. Let it burn. The whole city is burning down. What the f is going on? It's like the entrance to hell. Just Elmo like parading people with fire. Yeah. Got an idea. Oh, oh. 
I mean, first of all, you know he didn't move the bookshelf. He had to move it over, take all the books out, and then one at a time while he was taking his shit. You were taking a long if you got to do all that. <laughs> Boom! Hi. Why did it look like it didn't hurt? Two eye eye. Hi. That was so casual. <laughs> right? I didn't see you there when I walked down the stairs. <laughs> All right, oh, looks oh. like. Oh. Hello. You like what? Um, what is um, even going what? on? His face was all our faces. <laughs> no, oh. don't mess with. Oh, don't mess friend, with them. Go back. Oh. Go back. Go They're back. Murdering. That's cute. You can't. You can't have something hand you rabies like this. Yeah, I know. Oh. You know what I mean? Like he's oh just. God. They you got a. They like got a date home. for later here. Go ahead. We're having soft tacos later. <laughs> For six seconds of heaven. <laughs> our guest today, our favorite person to have on the show. He's been on the show more times than any other person, bar none. Comedian, podcaster, man with a fist that could punch through an entire brick wall and not damage it, <laughs> Brendan Shaw! <laughs> man, look, I'm heating those up. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. That's your best intro yet. That's I mean, a good I'm not... intro, man. Okay, you know, I got two young kids. They're wild. Uh, my son's pretty, pretty normal. My daughter's crazy town, right? Like, <laughs> man, she jumped on my chest, knees, and was like, ah, ah, I'm, a bad guy. I'm a bad guy, right? And I'm like, okay, relax, Billie Eilish. <laughs> it was like. It was like <laughs> That's the funniest <laughs> you said. Yo, I just imagine you saying that man. to your daughter. <laughs> I didn't expect it. The Chanel funny bone so hard with that one. Oh, she uh, loved it. She loved but it. It, it's just the reality that sometimes these kids are so crazy, it's, it's, it's almost hard to handle. You ever experienced anything like that? Yeah, some, they just don't stop. Like, yeah. if you could bottle their energy, my, my, my 11th month old, you know, everyone's like, oh, he's, they'll say, he's a thick baby. <laughs> but now it's to the point, it's like, do we put him on a keto diet? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, at what point is, he, is it dangerous? You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. No, like, if like, I have to bet, does he have diabetes in a few years? <laughs> yeah, he does, probably. Yeah. Oh, I love the idea of, like... He's so big. Like, how it's, it's so cute. And then, like, as it's coming on the year mark, it's like, is this, uh... Is yeah, this everyone's all, he's just, he's just gonna stay that thick, like, year-round? Like, I know, I don't know what to do. Oh, man. <laughs> this category filled with crazy kids. Take a look at I don't know what to do with them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Is that poop? Yeah, poop? Oh my God, that's not funny. Uh, I'm not laughing. No, I don't play. I don't play that. No, not the uh, poop game. Uh, it's where COVID started, right there. <laughs> there we is. Give it to me. Give it to me. Uh, this is some shit you do in the Midwest. I feel like I did something like yeah, that. Yeah, me too. I feel like I did some of yeah. that. You're riding scooters, bro? We got nothing to do, bro. Yeah. That's a hot summer day. Yeah, yeah. you were in the mud at some point. I'm out from the Midwest, guys. Never did it. <laughs> Oh, this is so weird. All There's right. a baby in this clip? <laughs> okay. Yo, where's Got the kid right in there and send him on his way. Oh my God. What plate? Man, this is in Russia but, for like, sure. Go back. I believe this makes this young man shit his pants. For sure. I believe he says, I myself. It went right up his back as he slid down. If he leaves a streak right now. It doesn't look fun. It does look fun for adults. No, he's <laughs> I myself. Oh, I <laughs> myself. There you have it for I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> Our guest today is a very, very funny actor, has his own series, Rob Riggle's Ski Master Academy, streaming now on Sony Crackle. Welcome, Rob Riggle. <laughs> Okay, Rob, so I also uh, know that you do a golf tournament uh, for a, a charity. It's called Inventational Classic. Yeah. Uh, what exactly is that all about? Uh, it's, I just started about three years ago. It, it raises money for the Semper Fi Fund, which helps 
uh, wounded veterans and their families. It was started by Marine wives. They saw a need and they, they filled in the, the need and so I support them. Very cool, very cool. Very cool. Really, really cool. As a golfer, yeah. have you ever shot a hole in one? Never shot a hole in one. Come dangerously close, but never, yeah, never. Man, I have. Have you really? Yeah, oh, man. I'm jealous. <laughs> man, look, it was like, man, it was like a hot summer day back in like 96. <laughs> Par three thing. I mean, I think the entire hole was like 60 yards. You know, so it's, <laughs> it's not legit at all. But damn it, if it didn't, where'd the, th where'd the ball go? Where'd the, tell me, no, 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 no. Whoa! <laughs> Wrote the date on it, yeah. kept it. I keep it to this day, Absolutely. just one time, right? So we decided to dedicate a, an entire category to hole-in-ones, but not golf. They're man hole-in-ones. Take a look. <laughs> I'll set this here neatly. <laughs> and goodbye. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, oh, this is so What did he think was going to happen? I don't know, he man. He clearly just opened a game and stepped into his death. <laughs> Ninja Turtle? <laughs> <laughs> Lose the attitude on me. Okay, enough's enough. Later. Oh, oh. oh man. man. <laughs> like, that outfit. Is that Marvel's new superhero? <laughs> <laughs> I am the whole man. Oh. Goodbye. Oh, man. <laughs> uh oh, it's going down. It's going down. Oh. He's in his own prison. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly. He's all off. I didn't know they made little j mini jail cells. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Light it up. Light it up. Here we are. Here we are. Oh. Man. Here to party for a second and immediately gone. We'll be right back with more ridiculous things. Yeah, yeah. Our guest today is an actor, director, star of his own podcast. I am Rappaport. Welcome the one and only Michael Rappaport. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Sure. I'd like to first of all honor this man, okay? <laughs> because more than just cultural figure, a man that tells it like it is, who is a great actor, who is just a, a modern renaissance man. He is a national hero. Can we please give it up for this man? For those that may not understand what I'm talking about, can you explain where you became a hero these past couple weeks? Well, I have to correct you because it, it's a, actually now they're referring to me as an international hero. But oh, I, I okay, okay, okay. But no, I was on a plane and, um, flying from Houston to Los Angeles, which is a weird flight, and a, and a guy was attempting to open the, the front door of the plane, and I was half sleeping, and the guy next to me was like, yo, and all I saw was like a guy pushing, and I got up, and I was like, yo, what the are you doing? <laughs> and he kept going for the door, and, and I, you know, sort of pushed him against the wall, and then he kept going for the door. I said, what the are you doing? And then Baron Davis, uh, you know, NBA star, got up and the, the flight attendants got up and you know, here I am as a national hero. <laughs> Mike, you got a mastery in <laughs> talking, man. Yes. I mean, literally, uh, do you think there's anyone better at it than you on the planet? I think right now, and I say this with, with all due respect and pride, I feel like I am the reigning heavyweight champion. <laughs> talking. Yeah, yeah. I look. out there, no disrespect, there's a lot of great ones out there, but in order to, you know, to be the best, you gotta, you know, you gotta beat the best. I know. <laughs> I, I wish there was, like, a true bracket system and, a, and like, a battle. Like, I, the fact that it doesn't exist. Come on, spin off, Rob. Man, You're the I man. Know, man. Make I know. it happen, Look. Rob. <laughs> you spit these shows out like, tch, tch, come on, make it man, happen, man. God. It's more money, more money, man. Man, man. stack, 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 Rob stack. Rob Job. TV, TV, Rob TV. <laughs> Well, look, this next category is filled with people trying to be you, but they'll never be you. Okay. Check out <laughs> talkers. All right. Let's see, she needs this gun. Why don't you stop playing a 
Yo, breast stank! You need this gum! <laughs> I got... I, I think that is a, a, a... I think he's doing her a service. I think if, if you're around somebody and you respect them, you'll tell them, yo, my man, yeah. hold that. <laughs> yo, I always keep it real with people with stinky breath. You have to. Otherwise, you don't respect them. Like, if I was sitting next to Chanel West Coast and it was banging, I'd be like, yo, Chanel West Coast, <laughs> yo, take this cert. And, and, and do, do the next person a favor, because I'm not going to judge you, but the next guest might Thank not God be so I nice. Thank God I had Altoid right before he came over here. <laughs> I swear, you be <laughs> into a bucket for two weeks after I'm done with you. You don't be shit because you your pyramid your, bastards. Your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, out your <laughs> tube, I tell you, innocent. <laughs> I swear, you want to come into the tower? You think you're the king of the tower? You're the king of the no. That's what you're the king of. Yeah. That's my dude right there. <laughs> that is my dude right there. I don't know what he's saying, but I like his style. Oh, you must think this a mother picnic. This ain't no picnic, mother. Get your bitch ass up. Yeah. And be like that sometimes. I stayed in this neighborhood. The only reason why people like you are living here is because I settled this neighborhood for you. Oh, yo! Yo! Thank you, white guy. That's it. <laughs> Thank, no, thank you, white guy. guy. Yeah. That's the hipster, hipster angst. Oh, hipster <laughs> angst were like, you screamed at a more nerdier white guy yeah. that you're responsible for settling a neighborhood. Settling. Because I settled this neighborhood for you. <laughs> I built a loft here, bro. Thank you, white guy. I've got designer furniture here. <laughs> hey, what are we having for Thanksgiving? Same damn thing we always have for the last 21 years, you little <laughs> Uh, now go set the table, you little bastard. <laughs> we'll be right back with more ridiculous. Uh... All right, our guest today is a comedic powerhouse. Not only will you find her in stand-up, but television and movies. Welcome the one and only Wanda Sykes. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Your whole career, unapologetically honest. When you're at home, how dead real are you with your family on a scale of one to 10? Probably 10. Yeah. yeah. You just yeah. ride them up. It's like one of your kids like paints something and it's like off. You're like, no. <laughs> I, I, I usually say like, well, that was, that was a nice attempt. <laughs> I, I, I see where you were going with this. <laughs> Okay, and then when you wrote your book, why did you title your book, Yeah, I Said It, in, in 2005? Basically, you know, stand by what you say. Like, yeah, this is, this is what I said, in your face okay. type thing. You've always been like that, so we decided to find a category of, of people kind of speaking their mind. We okay. title it, Yeah, I Said It. Take a look. Later today, Flossie's pause family it. is going to be coming. Pause it real quick. <laughs> Flossie Dickey's her name, first Wait, of all. Flossie Dickey would have okay. been the it is. Ever. Okay. I want you to, I want you to wrap your head around that it's <laughs> Flossie Dickey's <laughs> 110th birthday. Go ahead. Later today, Flossie's family is going to be coming out here to throw you a big birthday party. Are you excited for your party? Not one bit. <laughs> Not one bit. No. Look how unhappy she uh -huh. is. We're doing the news. I don't want to do the damn news. Are you excited for your party? Not one bit. <laughs> Tell you, I'm pregnant. Uh, what, what were you thinking? Why you have to uh, just, just get another baby? You just have two. It's called birth control, Mom. Why, why do you? This is exasperating. Wow. He's so mad. Yeah, he's exasperated. You better not put your mouth on my toothbrush. Y'all young people like to eat ass now. Facts only. Facts only. Man, I hope that she does not have any uh -huh. evidence of that. I mean, a real woman is supposed to groom they s. They ain't supposed to hand up. Ain't oh, no, no, not the past. That's right. There you go. <laughs> okay, look, there's not, there's not some sort of revolution happening here. This poor guy is in shock, okay? <laughs> He's trying to get out of the room and she's patting uh -huh. away like, you understand me, I don't, what? No. <laughs> All right, our guest today is a comic genius and the star of his very own show, The Eric Andre Show. Give it up for Eric Andre. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Come here, bring it in. Brother's got a hug. I'm gonna tell you right now, he just kissed a man on the way in here. Hello. There's a lot, oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, hey, right. hey. Bring it in tough. Yeah. Love you, Bring it in tough. Yeah. Bring it in tough. Here's the thing, Eric Andre. It's my first time on TV, I'm very excited. <laughs> Okay, I would like to show a website that you've created. Yeah, Go ahead sure. and, and pop this up. <laughs> this is me chilling. Okay, now this is just his idea for band names. Pause it. Where did this come from? Um, my brain. I do a lot of LSD. And, okay. uh, <laughs> what do we got? Uh, knife massage, oh, passive knife aggressive massage. barista, Flea <laughs> Flatifa. <laughs> my Negro Amigo. My Negro Amigo. <laughs> <laughs> I have one on there. It's Alien versus Predator versus Brown versus the Board of Education. <laughs> okay. Has anyone ever taken these names and made a band and it gotten extremely famous? Uh, you know Creed? Are you familiar with the yeah. band Creed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's, this category, what I'd like to do is show you some bands and see if you couldn't <laughs> name them. Name that band. This is rock and roll. Kick! Boom! The Dropkick Drunkies. Dropkick Drunkies, go! <laughs> Long before Steve Smith died. Oh, there you go. Bye bye. <laughs> the Ben Franklin Crystal Meth All Stars. Oh. <laughs> Been here my whole life. I never thought twice. I... <laughs> oh. oh, let me try this again. <laughs> That's Nickelback. Actually, <laughs> it's just Nickelback doing their thing. <laughs> Great band. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that band is called the Virgins. <laughs> Virgins. Uh. Oh, okay, all right. We won't recycle. We won't recycle. <laughs> That's a garbage band from the other video. They kicked it down. Like with my garbage. I'm gonna tell you what, to everybody in the sixth grade, call y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out. If I have permission, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> He's like, okay, just eat some orange slices and Capri Suns, just ignore what's going on. All right, our guest today is a stand-up comedian former cast member of Saturday Night Live and the star of the upcoming film, The Out of Town Wedding. Ladies and gentlemen, Brooks Whelan. Hello, hello. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Say hello to the people, man. How's it going? Man. How Say are hello you? to the people. Hey, dudes. Hey, what about you? We found an interesting tweet of yours. Uh, we're going to show it. Maybe you could explain it to us. Uh, oh, yeah. My biggest fear is being drunk Mine too. on eBay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to be in drunk uh, near a computer. Like, I bought an airplane ticket to New Orleans one time, and I didn't remember doing it in the morning. I just got, like, a, like a ready to check in, like, three weeks later. I was like, for what? And it was like, <laughs> <laughs> I booked it for, like, a Tuesday. I don't know what I was doing. Well, this next category is dedicated to people that all bought stuff while they were drunk on eBay. <laughs> My name is Eric Buss. This is my bubble wrap bike. Oh, f yeah, Eric. Jealous much? <laughs> I mean, anything goes. That should have started off with, my name's Eric, my wife just left me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've all seen this. We yeah. are, yeah. What's that? It's a flying ostrich. <laughs> this is like a dude who wanted to like spy on his neighbor, but it was like, he's going to know if it's a drone. <laughs> and make it an ostrich. <laughs> and then he'll just be like, oh, it's an ostrich. I better get naked in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, planes. It's a plane gun. What? It's a plane oh, my gun. God. That is dope. This is so cool. great. I mean, the guy holding it scares the <laughs> out of me. <laughs> Puke, you just bought something to puke for you. It's the lead singer to Static X. <laughs> you know who Static yes, X is? Yes, I do. Yeah. I do that, know who Static yeah, X yeah. is. It looks like Dude, it. my mom's like a heavy metal chick. I know oh, nice. <laughs> I sat next to Chanel for like five minutes. I know her mom has huge boobs and loves heavy metal. <laughs> that's, 
I hope that doesn't go on TV. Right? Man, we're exactly right. good. Maybe you two should yeah. get together we should in the have, editing room. Yeah, we should have my mean dad and your big boob mom <laughs> hang out. There you have it. That is disgusting. And if you're drunk on eBay, you're going to buy something stupid. We'll be right back with more ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah.